Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Halo video. Today we're taking a look back at Halo 3, the original one, back on 360 and kind of see like what the state of this game is. See the population numbers and just see how it plays compared to MCC's version. You know, I want to try to like get a feel for it myself and see like how much it's changed. See like, I mean, of course it's going to be a lower frame rate, lower resolution. And look at this menu, man. Like Bungie knew how to make really good menus. Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3, ODST and Reach literally all had iconic menus in my opinion. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just kind of look at all the menus and explore this game. Let's go to campaign. See, I love how like when you select a certain like playlist or mode, whatever you want to call it, it like changes the menu and it kind of just goes around that. Like for campaign, you get to see Arbiter and Chief in the background just kind of hanging out, chilling. So let's go try out matchmaking see how it looks there it changes to the globe which is really cool you know it shows that you're matching people around the world and playing with them it's crazy man because this game used to be so populated you would just see dots all over the world and now it's just you know it's it's sad honestly and of course you know the menu music man it kind of makes me a little sad as well i don't i don't know man it's a little emotional because like i have so many memories just playing like all these old halo games and I'm sure a lot of you do as well. I mean, that's why this game is loved so much. You know, I've met some, like, really good people through this game in real life and online. It's just amazing what this game did for me personally. So I want to go ahead and just look at the other menus because I think it's really cool how when you switch to a certain, certain mode, you know, it changes the background. So for custom games, we got Flag, an Elite, and a Spartan. Same with Forge, you know, we got a freaking Warthog in the background and the Monitor. This one have anything? Oh, it does. It has, um... Oh, it's verifying, though. It says, The name for this film is not allowed to be on to be displayed online. It will be replaced with Blam when playing on Xbox Live. Um... I have no idea what the heck it's talking about. I did play this game a little couple days ago. Um... Or weeks, whatever. But, um, yeah, I don't know what the heck caused it to just do that. That's really weird. But, yeah, as you can see at... The background you know we got the covenant ship not sure why this is for theater mode um i guess maybe it kind of represents like the covenant looking over the you know earth or something like that so it's kind of like a theater for them <laughs> i don't know i mean that could be the reason for it because i feel like each one kind of represents that you know that mode like for custom games you got the the warthog you know and the monitor there same with matchmaking you know you got a globe in the background because you're playing with people all around the world you know etc campaign you know as chief and arbiter because you're playing campaign of course okay so let's check out the population numbers for every playlist i'm gonna try to run by this really quick because there is quite a lot of playlists but i am interested and curious to see you know which playlist is the most popular and the ones that are like completely dead my guess is the ranked playlists are going to be completely dead most of them um you know it would only make sense because most players most players that play games are, ca are casuals you know and I think the really hardcore like people who like you know playing ranked and stuff are like of course they're like a smaller bunch wow so look at that so lone wolves has a pop population of 117 <laughs> ah, that's kind of funny that's just <laughs> i did not see that coming that's for sure okay let's check out our next playlist team slayer population 42 so this is ranked as well team doubles is completely empty it says the population is zero Team Snipers as well, the population is zero, MLG, population zero, dang. Team Squat also has zero population. Okay, now let's check out the social playlists, which are most likely going to be the most populated, of course. So we're going to start off with Rumble Pit, which is probably going to be empty, I would assume. Yep, Rumble Pit has the population of zero. Um, oh, okay, so I could actually search, so I'm going to have to go ahead and do that so I could see the population. So Social Slayer has a population of 580. Let's move on to social skirmish and it says the population is zero let's go on to action sack action <laughs> action zack has zero players it says the population zero on multi-team as well okay moving on we got team mythic zero players on that and last but not least social big team and that has zero players as well you know maybe these population counters aren't exactly accurate there's probably like a few or more on some certain playlists i don't know Ooh, wow, look at that. Look at this lobby system, man. I think this looks so cool. I don't know. I It's it's probably just the nostalgia, but I just like how this lobby looks. Looks so good. 
Then we get to like vote on a map and stuff. All right, so we're loading in and it's actually a 5v5. I actually completely forgot this is kind of a thing they did back then. And whoa, right off the bat, man, I mean, the resolution is just all jittery. <laughs> like, you just see how... I mean, it was good for its time, of course, but now it's like... It's really weird. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it feels very weird. Oh, we got a dino player over here. <laughs> yeah, this feels very jittery. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, okay, yeah, this feels... <laughs> There's like a lot of input delay. I have no idea how people played this back in the day. There's like a lot of input delay. You can just feel it. It's very strange. Maybe it's the server, I don't know. I mean, the servers are probably duty in this game. I'm glad that in MCC, even on console, you get FOV sliders because... Oh man, dude, playing on 70 FOV is like... I don't even know how people played on that back then. I mean, I don't know how I played on that back then. It was just so awful, man. Oh, shoot. Oh, what is going on? Let's see if I can kill this guy. Oh, okay. Oh, where's the sniper out? Let's try to get some uh, sniper action in here. Okay, I got a sniper. Let's see what I can do. Get some kills. Oh, I'm getting some kills with the sniper. This is good. Sniper's actually a little easier to use. Um, I still feel a lot of delay. You know what? Never mind. Oh, there we go. Let's freaking go. Got a snapshot there. Oh my god, I'm fighting a 4v3 right now. Ah, no! <laughs> Damn, Dino smacked me. <laughs> I missed a freaking Mauler shot. Uh-oh, I'm off watch sniping. It's not going to work out. Oh my god. Oh no, there's more. Oh, <laughs> let's go. What? I don't know what happened. I think I just... I don't know. I just like popped off. Well, guys, with that being said, that's Halo 3 in 2021. Um, not that many people left playing it, unfortunately, but I would love to see how many people are playing it in December when the services or online services for all the old old Halo games are going to go offline. So I'm actually very curious to see, you know, if this game is going to get to like, let's say maybe possibly like 10,000 players. I would I would guess who knows, maybe what if we get to like 100k players? People are going to try to be like the last ones on the servers and stuff like that. It's going to be really cool to see. I'm probably going to try to as well. Probably not as long as a lot of people, but I think it'd be cool to kind of just check it out. And so I'll definitely be making a follow-up video for this um, by the time December comes around. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Consider subscribing and liking the video as it shows your support. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.